Hey, what is up? This is me, the ITKHQ, and today I'm running iOS 10 Beta 2 on my iPhone 6s. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at all the new features that you get in iOS 10 Beta 2. So, the very first feature I'm going to talk about is that now if you go over to Notification Center, instead of having the missed written right here, we have recent. Next, you can also access the today or the notification center widgets, um, you know, from the home screen as well, rather than just being able to access it within the apps. Third, if you go over to settings and you go to maps, you have the show park location. So basically, if you have sort of if you're your you know you sort of park your car somewhere and the map is going to tell you where you parked your car, so it's going to send you a notification that you parked your car over here. You can tap it and it's going to give you the directions. So all that. Next we have that if you go to settings and you go to messages and then if you go down you will see we have the option of low quality image on mobile. So basically it's going to go ahead and send a low quality image just to conserve a bit of data. Next if you go over to mail, so I don't really use that much mail, I use Gmail, but if you come over here you will see we have a new uh, button right here uh, for filters, so if you press this, it's going to filter your emails, uh, you know, by unread, or you can sort of do it by just read. All right, now if you sort of uh, three touch any folder, you would actually see that there's a badge written right there. I'm going to show you uh, the exact amount of the unread notifications that you have. Previously, it was just unread It said unread notifications, and then the number of notifications. But now it's just a very simple badge right here. It looks quite good. Now this is a sort of a lock screen tweak but if you come over here to your lock screen basically and you just put your thumb right here on the touch ID uh, what's going to say as you guys can see if I do this it's going to say unlocked right here so let's do it again I did this let's do it again all right so I come over here I do this it says unlocked and then I can just press it and that's that so it says unlocked instead of just removing the you know the lock icon from the top Right now in iMessage basically if you go over here you will see App Store icon and then you can go over to the store and it's going to take you to the store and over here you will be able to see all the new packages or all the new apps that uh, Apple has released for the keyboard now or for iMessage rather so let me just go ahead and get uh, the smiley one so I'm just going to go ahead and install the smiley one. Alright guys so I just uh, Downloaded installed smileys. I'm just going to go ahead and press these and now I can select uh, loads of uh, Smileys as you guys can see so I can just go ahead and put any right here and I can then send it now Also, if you go to the control center now you actually have a different sort of tweaked um, Three touch control options over here as you guys can see so we have uh, this icon right here as well if you go to the flashlight you will say we have the bright light medium light low light and then we have uh, the icon as well also now if you uh, invoke Siri there's a sort of a different animation it's not much but basically the home screen sort of goes or sort of minimizes so here, take a look there you go so it's a very subtle animation it seems as if the the thing is minimizing the home screen is minimizing Alright guys, that's pretty much it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I will pretty much be bringing you guys all the iOS and content. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Bye-bye.